Can we all get along? Welcome to this video tutorial series on ImageLine's real-time pitch correction plugin, Pitcher. When applied to a channel with a monophonic source, Pitcher is able to alter the pitch of each note. You can specify how you want the pitch correction to take place. You can specify which notes Pitcher should correct to. Select to alter the pitches based on a specified scale or even to alter the pitch based on MIDI data. And you can also create harmonies with up to four independently pitched voices. In addition to specifying how Pitcher alters the pitch of the incoming audio, you can also set how fast Pitcher should react to the pitch changes, allowing you to get that classic share pitch correction sound or something a little more natural. Pitcher can also be used to add automatic harmonies to your audio tracks. So over the next few videos, we'll take a look at how to get the most from this amazing little plugin. But first, let's take a brief overview of Pitcher's interface. By clicking on Pitcher's title at the top of the interface, you can get more info on the plugin and the version number you are running. The reference switch is used to determine which side of a stereo audio input Pitcher should use when analyzing the audio. You can select left, right, or both channels. The input pitch will show you the pitch of the incoming audio that was detected by Pitcher. The red vertical indicators show the pitch of the incoming audio. Below that is the output pitch. Here the indicators represent the pitch correction that was applied. Can we all get along? The tuning section allows you to select a scale that you want Pitcher to use when performing pitch correction. We'll be taking a closer look at setting up scales and tuning control in the second video of this series. The pitch bypass switches allow you to bypass pitch correction on specified notes. We'll be taking a closer look at these in the third video of the series. As mentioned, Pitcher allows you to adjust the speed of how fast pitch correction is applied to the audio. This is done with the speed control. Sometimes it is useful to have a slow setting so the starts of a note sound more natural and don't suddenly snap to a steady pitch. The formant, which is the resonant of the human vocal track, controls the tonal character of the corrected notes. You can control if the corrected notes have a female or male characteristic. The fine tune control allows you to manually apply global pitch tuning in one cent steps to pitcher's output. This can be useful to retune monophonic instruments that have been recorded sharp or flat. The mode switches at the bottom of the interface is where you will determine which mode pitcher is using when applying pitch correction. MIDI sets the corrected pitch to respond to MIDI input rather than the input audio. Octave allows you to pitch shift notes well outside the original range. We'll be taking a closer look at using MIDI within Pitcher in video 4 of this series. Harmonize allows you to play MIDI chords of up to 4 separate voices determined by the MIDI input. This mode is, as the name says, great for creating harmonies. We'll be taking a closer look at the Harmonize mode in video 5 of this series. Ok, so now that you have a basic understanding of Pitcher's interface, in the next video, we'll dive into pitch correction and the various ways to control how pitch correction is applied.